Yeah. All right, welcome back to the channel. Went to go buy a gun today. Just wanted to get another handgun, something different, different caliber. I always wanted a 45. I always wanted a Ruger SR-1911, chambered in either a 45 or a 10 millimeter. So I went to a very well-known little outdoors, popular, famous place that everybody knows. I'll never give you any kind of a hint on what gun store I went to today or what outdoors outfitters retailer I went to today. But if you're a first time gun purchaser, just, I made this video for all of you. Beer time. Anyway, so I go in and I see this Ruger SR 1911 and I ask if um, they mind if I dry fire it um, because some guns it's not good to dry fire. The reason why it's not good to dry fire is because that firing pin, or if it's a 22 LR and you have a striker, um, it's not even really a pin, it's a striker that strikes the side of the casing. It's not good because basically if that cartridge isn't right there in front of that striker or the pin, then you're hitting the basically the um, ramp um, if it's a semi-automatic pistol and it damages the uh, the barrel ramp or the striker or firing pin. Anyway, enough about that. So that's why you uh, generally don't want to dry fire most firearms. But I asked and he said, well, um, I got to I got to keep this trigger guard on. So this, all their guns in there had a trigger guard on them, which is basically a lock over the trigger. And they had the lock, you know, the um, action was locked open, the slide, and they had a cable going through it with a lock. And I said, um, well, I just want to, I, I want to see the trigger. It's like a thousand dollar gun. You know, I just want to make sure it, uh, it, 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 it's going to be good for me. He said, well, we have a policy that we can't take the trigger lock and the chamber lock off of our handguns. Or any other guns for that matter. I said, well, well how do I know it's going to work? And he kind of gave me an attitude. He's like, well, when you fire it at the range. So I'm not, I wasn't going to be a prick because I'm not a screaming liberal who thinks they're victimized and oppressed by everyone. So I remain kind of calm and professional and just said, well, not if it isn't going to go bang. Does it work for me? Any, if you go out and you try to buy a brand new gun, um, you need to work the slide. You need to feel it. And for its true weight, not for what a trigger guard is going to add to it and a lock is going to throw it off center. It needs to feel good for you. The slide action needs to be something that works for you. The trigger pull. Now, let me tell you about trigger pull. I have that Ruger um, LCP-222. They're not a very expensive, high quality gun. Um, so basically there's a lot of slop and then click. Um, 1911s have a very smooth, clean, crisp break and not a lot of play. Same with my Glocks, they have a five and a half pound trigger. But when I took my wife shooting a few years ago and because she was interested in getting a new gun, we're talking Kimbers, Smith & Wessons, SIGs. She tried everything. The trigger pulls on these guns was ridiculous. Even I put it back in the counter, I'm like, brother, this is junk. Because you think you're trying to pull a trigger, the more you're putting effort the more your hand's shaking. So their policy was, you can't take any of the locks off the gun. I said, well, that's, that's pretty dumb. I mean, I'm sure anyone out there is geeking for a gun, but if you're gonna buy a gun, then if you just go ahead and say, buddy of mine said 38 works great, 38 revolver, yeah, or uh, 380, and you just pick up a semi-automatic handgun and you take it home and you're at the range and you can't fire this thing, or the slide is either just, it's hard to get your hand around it and you're ah, cutting yourself. Because it just doesn't work for you. When you go to take it back, they're gonna give you half that price. So this outfitter here, that's a stupid policy because anyone with a brain that knows anything about guns, you need to be able to work the slide, hold it for its true weight, and feel that trigger pull before you buy it. So, I just figured I'd go on that little rant today because I was I was beside myself. When they said, nope, you just point, I put it in a box, you pay for it, and good luck to you. 
just remember that, please. If you're gonna go out and buy a gun, um, work the slide, feel it for its true weight, pull the trigger. If they don't let you, go somewhere else. Because I went to other gun stores my whole life and they always let you feel it, hold it. They're not gonna let you shoot it in there, but that's your first step. Just another tip from uh, Kinetic Energy 1085, Semper Fi. Yeah.